This man is a national treasure. And Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy joins us now. Big round of applause for Jimmy. Yeah. It is so good to see you, Jimmy. So good to see you. <laughs> should have bought a Frosty for you. Yeah, yeah. You should have bought a Frosty, actually. I yeah. haven't done that for a while. Um, tell us about the idea and, and the checkups. Yeah, well, um, basically, Justin Hems and Maryvale um, got on board with us. Um, and we're doing, we just decided, let's do checks in some of Sydney's most loved watering holes. It's, um, mm. skin, getting a skin check is one of those things everyone puts off, and, you know, it's hard to get it done. Everyone mm. wants to do it, but they never get around to. So we thought, let's bring the doctors to the people. And mm. um, What a great idea. Yeah, go to the pub. Yeah, well, I mean, and this kind of, it's sort of skewed, uh, I assume, towards men, because men are more likely to get melanoma, probably more likely to be sitting at the pub having a beer. Um, is, is that sort of, is that being the focus? Yeah, I mean, uh, so, yeah, 69% of melanoma deaths in Australia are from blokes, and I think that's just because they think they're bulletproof mm. and, mm. you know... Um, so yeah, I think by doing it in the pub when you're around your friends and family and it's in a really nice relaxed atmosphere and we make yeah. it something that you want to do again. How's um, it going to work? Well, you just um, come in five or ten minutes, um, get checked by a doctor and we're using this incredible AI based technology mm. which is world class and um, you get a really thorough screening from a professional, it's fantastic. And where are the pubs? Um, so we've just done the Newport and we yeah. checked 420 people there in five wow. days and found 220 suspect, sus looking spots. Incredible. Um, so literally already saved lives. And then we've got the Collaroid coming up today till Saturday and mm. then the Coogee Pavilion. Something would be good to um, run out the nationwide, wouldn't it, if we can, mm. if yeah. we can get there. I mean, the Newport Arms is a terrific pub. Um, mm. I've spent many an after lazy <laughs> afternoon there. Um, but but pubs, especially around <laughs> Queensland as well. Yeah. Is there mm. any, uh, any chance of broadening it out? Yeah, so our goal with Beard Season and our charity is to roll out a national uh, screening program targeted to most at-risk places. Mm. And this, with Maryvale and Justin, is just it at hard at work. The idea, yeah. in, like, just it mm. works so well and so hard, and we need to roll this around it's the country. It's a great idea. It's now, um, this, this magnificent beard of yours that we're looking mm. at here, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's going to go soon, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, the original plan was to shave it off at the end of summer yeah. um, mm. um, with a big ball of the Ivy Ballroom. Mm. But... Um, in wake of this horrendous environmental catastrophe we're facing now, we've decided to put it off until the end of winter. So mm. we've got the beard one more year. Um, <laughs> so to raise so, money for the bushfire. Yeah, yeah so the goal is once we raise a million dollars, then it comes off in one piece and then mm. that money will go to our national screening program. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to have to wait. I was supposed to be getting married the week after, so I'm going to have to get married with this oh. intact. <laughs> So, well, well, it's okay. We know that, that women prefer men with beards. Oh, yeah. So, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does she, though? <laughs> she doesn't mind, yeah. <laughs> She's marrying him. It can't be too bad. I don't know. You're a sexy man, though. And, you do, and look, you're doing great things. Yeah. Uh, and so, so I know it's, it's a slog for you to keep it, um, but you, it's terrific awareness. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a great program as well. Well done, Jimmy yeah. Nichols. Thanks.